Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. We have the 21st today. So two plus one is three and three is new beginnings. Three is communication. It's having fun. It's being social. It's really allowing yourself to be in the moment and stop being so serious about the path that we're on right because it's like in that seriousness that we stop playing and we start controlling and we start expecting these things that maybe weren't even in our path to begin with in the first place right so it's like taking a moment to again reconnect with that inner child it's also the empress but to really sit comfortable in who you are and your authenticity trusting that the work that you're doing and the seeds that you're planting are going to bloom and grow into something really beautiful and that's where we are today because i and i love that for the day because we have the nine of wands in reverse and we had that a, a couple weeks ago or even last week i can't remember i think it might have been last week um yeah, we did last last Tuesday. So it's coming around again today. Sorry, I was like just peeking at my notes. Um, and I love that because it is us walking away. It's that surrender. And again, we get this, we have all this energy this week. And so if I want to say with that, we have all this fire energy coming up that our emotions and our, you know, our emotions on the inside might feel a little intense and just breathe through it and it's it's an invitation to find more grounding it's an invitation to be creative it's an invitation to soothe your mind and to really surrender to what's going on around you and to stay connected to your purpose to stay connected to your alignment and keeping that in focus because we really are pushing to transform the things that we're focused on or i want to even say like the perspective of the way we focus on things we're being pushed to let go of that we're being pushed to walk away from those emotions that keep us in that place, those those actions, those patterns that we've used to experience in the past, I feel like some of them are still having a hard time breaking away. But what I love is that there is this one, we get this number of one all the time. We keep getting new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings, even today with three new beginnings. And most of the cards that have been popping up recently have been nines. So it's these cycles closing out. And when I was talking about, you know, when we come out of, I think that was Monday, I was talking about when we come out of this Mercury retrograde, we're going to feel slingshotted forward. And that is because we are doing the hard work of closing out a lot of these karmic cycles that are like generational and just you know, things that we agreed to work through here in this life, but we're closing out like, like, I want to say, I don't know why numbers, but like three or four big ones, right? And that takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of time. And sometimes we can get really focused on that, right? Because today we, it is about like zooming out and having fun with what we're doing, right? Because when it's up route like this, like we are defending ourselves, we are, you know, holding on to these fears, these traumas, these beliefs, and we're so seriously trying to guard and protect everything that we're working for and every and who we are up to this moment, right? But we don't understand that that's actually hurting us even more standing here. Look at him. He's got bandages on his head. He's hurt after a long journey and he needs to take some time to just relax and have fun, but he's too focused on defending and protecting. It's like our survival brain trying to, again, control the situation and it's just causing more harm than it is good but with today we are getting a surrender we are getting peace we are getting this completion of a cycle and a deeper connection to ourselves spiritually because we have the number nine and nine is about spirituality and completion it's wisdom it's the hermit in the tarot being able to after some type of journey a quest a challenge, a situation in life to come back home to ourselves because that's what's actually happening right here, right now. It is not that we are growing into the next best version because I always say, I always hate saying that, like the next version of ourselves. But this period is coming home to ourselves authentically at the end of the day, who we are and what our truth is. And that is. Oh, I find so much comfort in that. It brings me so much peace to know that I'm coming back to me, right? That these masks, these patterns, these beliefs that I've been holding on to were just this shell that was keeping me safe, right? And now I don't need that anymore. We don't need that 
anymore because this foundation in here is solid. That we've created something that makes ourselves happy and it's not for other people's happiness, it's not for other people's expectations of us or the success that they see us having, it's for us, right? It aligns with the dream that we see for ourselves. And in that, when we find our light, we can come back out and share it with others. We can shine and be who we want to be, who we are authentically. And it's also this like, nine is also the harvest of everything that you've ever achieved and created and allowed to be is right now, right? I mean, we're in fall, so fall is that, right? Like the harvest of the summer season in the, in the beginning to release and let go and let things fall away. And I love following the seasons in, in that way of like, okay, now we're going into a place of kind of like, Again, this restart of who we are. And I love that because we get to begin again in a way that we feel we are authentically, right? Like I like to use Colorado right now. It's like I was telling Stephen that this is like a restart for me because this is the life that I am choosing for myself, right? It's it's my big first decision to move out and to begin again something different in, in a way that in, in an environment that I want to be in, around people that I want to be in, in a job I want to do, in you know, a spiritual community that I want to take part in. And this, these are my decisions, right? My other life, like living in Michigan, that was like I was born there, I have family there, I, you know, Things that I went through in high school and stuff brought me to make the decisions and, and work in the places that I did, or even just like within my family, you know, that, those are those things that you're, you're living a life not so aligned with who you want to be. And I, I digress, but I'm just, just trying to explain that, you know, like this journey, this chapter that we're going in is one that we picked for ourselves. It's one that we decided that we want to go on and it's going to bring us peace and it's going to bring us excitement and it's going to bring us enthusiasm and it's going to bring us closer to our purpose and that is beautiful. So that's where I'm going to leave it. The number for the day is nine, nine being spirituality and completion is wisdom, the harvest, the hermit going within to connect to that light again so that we can come back to who we are and come home to who we are. So I love that. That's where I'm going to leave it. If you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, or you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description and I I will see you guys tomorrow for the Daily Tarot Reading.